199 seemed to become the most frequent visitor to the island of Sodor, much to his rancor. One warm morning, he arrived unexpectedly with a special enthusiast train. He might as well live here with all his visits, muttered James. Oh no, thank you, scoffed Gordon. We wouldn't want him here. He'd break the good atmosphere we work hard to sustain. And he's always getting stuck one way or another. And don't get me started on the fumes, groaned Henry. Fumes are the signs and the point. Candidly, I could go on about why your nowhere railway is so frumpish. But I've brought this train for you kennels and I've got better things to do. Like what exactly? Said the fat controller walking up. Spam can blinked. Like I, uh... Exactly. You don't have anything to do until I give you something to do. On my railway. 199 seethed. Now, continued the controller, there's a train of old rails that needs to be taken back to the mainland. Take it there and stay as well. I assure you it won't be as... <coughs> frumpish. The other engines laughed. Spam can turned red with fury and rolled away. Spam can was fitted with vacuum brakes. These are special types of brakes that use a hose running through the train to stop, if need be. If the hose was ever to come loose or become problematic, the train would stop automatically. Spamcan knew this, however, this day was different. As he came into the yard, he reversed sharply onto his train. Bear was also there, pushing rusted material to be melted down. I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is certainly something wrong with your railway 7101. I don't understand how you keep up with them. Same way I kept up with you, what difference does it make? <laughs> I don't see why you're so intrigued by these old relics. You have as much curiosity for them as one of those rail enthusiasts. If anything, they should be more fascinated by us and our more up-to-date vacuum braking. Yes, murmured Bear. However, they'd get more braking down than any proper stopping from you. <laughs> I'll have you find 7101, retorted Spamcan. That I'm more capable with my brakes than you'll ever be. It's quite clear those steamers are rubbing off on you. You're becoming one of them and he flounced away. <laughs> Spamcan trudged along with the heavy metal rails behind him. The cheat, honestly, modernity calls for more respect in this day and age. These rare fans have their eyes locked to the past. It's time to look forward. However, Spamcan was so busy looking forward, he didn't notice the signal rays. Spamcan rounded a corner when he was suddenly diverted onto the next line. Oh, whatever's happening. The flatbed swerved too. Snap! With a loud break, the hose fell apart. Spamcan didn't notice, for he could see a line of ballast wagons heading straight towards him. Spamcan was frantic and shut his eyes tight. He came nearer 
and nearer to the wagons until... Spamcan opened his eyes. He had stopped right in front of the train. All these rails are tormenting, he faltered enthrallingly, always getting stuck on them, always stopping for no reason. Is that so, said a voice. Last time I checked, you almost derailed at a missing point. Spamcan went pale. You're cutting it close, he said. We don't play those types of games around here, especially with signals being red and all. Spamcan followed suit and went red as he looked at his buffers. Bear soon arrived. He brought the fat controller with him. I don't appreciate you always finding a way to stick on my medals, D199, he said sternly. Whether it's signals or not, it's most inconvenient. Bear will escort you home. Maybe on the way you can learn about keeping an open perspective. <laughs> Spam can said nothing as Bear took him and his train back home. Thank <laughs> you.